Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I have been playing around quite a bit with buzz baits. A buzz bait's one of my favorite top water baits because of how effective they can be. They work in heavy cover, they work in open water. They truly are a top water bait that's kind of like your all wheel drive vehicle. Uh, and because of that, I love them. And they work great from down south all the way to up north for largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, northern pike. You mix them in and you're going to catch a bunch of fish on a buzz bait. Now, I will tell you, and if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you probably know that I'm not a huge fan of a skirted buzz bait. I really prefer to fish without a skirt and fish plastic baits. And traditionally, I've always thrown a toad style bait. This is a zoom horny toad in the ghost color, one of my favorite colors that's out there. And this is generally what I've thrown for the last several years. But this year specifically, I started experimenting with a lot of other plastic baits to use on what I refer to as a naked buzz bait. A buzz bait like this one right here with no skirt where you just slide the plastic bait on instead of using the skirt material. And I think I found the absolute perfect trailer. This is something that I threw quite a bit in my Potomac River event in practice, caught a bunch of fish, but really it's a technique uh, or a bait that just seems to be working perfectly for a buzz bait. Now I will say I do have some honorable mentions as well in terms of baits to put on the back of the buzz bait. Uh, and it really comes down to the circumstances and the type of cover you're fishing. For example, if I'm fishing open water and I'm fishing around schooling fish or I'm fishing banks that are more 45 degree banks that the fish are pushing bait onto, I really do like throwing just a boot tail swim bait like this Kitek, uh, specifically the 3.8 size. And they fit really well on a naked buzz bait and they give you an extremely natural presentation. So for clear water as well, uh, you get the best of both worlds where you have a very natural lifelike minnow looking bait paired up with a little bit of sound and squeak from the buzz bait creating commotion on the surface and it creates a really good presentation so i do really like throwing boot tails the other nice thing with a boot tail is it allows you to slow up your presentation so you get a lot of drag from your from your boot which creates a uh, drag in the water and allows you to keep your bait up on the surface at slower speeds so I do really like throwing a uh, boot tail swim bait. Another one that I've really come to like quite a bit, and this was brought to me by a viewer who mentioned I should try this, and that's a Berkeley Pit Boss. A Berkeley Pit Boss not only works really well as a buzz bait trailer, but you can fish these as a toad as well. If you rig it weightless or with a very, very light weight, and fish it as a toad, like your Zoom horny toads, it comes over the grass, it comes through the pads extremely well, and your little flapper legs create a nice buzzing commotion. And so I've had a lot of luck fishing this just as a straight uh, toad style bait. And because of that, I wanted to try it on the buzz bait because the individual that referred it to me said, not only is it good weightless as a toad, try it on a buzz bait. So I've done that. I do want to recommend when you rig it, you want to rig it so that the bait is flat to the surface of the water. And what that does, this wider, fatter body, is it really brings the bait up to the surface. It keeps it up there. You've got some legs creating some flapping motion that also allows the bait to slow down, stay high up in the water column. And it just generally is a very good uh, bait for this. You can also use a lot of your cross style baits like a chigger craw you'd be amazed at how good you get uh, some flapping motion that buzzes on the surface, as well as a flatter body that keeps the bait high up in the water column. So I've really experimented a lot with your cross style and creature style baits and been very, very impressed with it. Uh, so much so that I'm really not as big on the toads as I am some of these other baits to the point where actually the toad is probably my fourth go-to bait meaning in clear water situations, I love the boot tail. In situations where I'm looking to make a little bit more commotion, I'm looking to ride above the weeds or above the lily pads. I'm really enjoying my cross style baits like the Pit Boss. But I gotta tell you guys, like the bait that I feel like has been made 
for a buzz bait, and we don't ever hear anyone talk about, is a tube. A stupid tube like this, not the rigging technique of a stupid tube, but a tube, which is one of the most basic baits, been around for centuries, I feel like. It's just made for this. And the reason for it is they're easy to rig. There's like, you really can't miss this up. You know, in some circumstances, one of the things when you're rigging some of these baits is it's hard to push that up over the plastic without ripping the front of the bait. And the problem is, if you do rip the bait, a lot of times that little bit of a flap from the front of the bait actually catches on the vegetation that you're trying to retrieve over. So if you're fishing open water or skipping docks, not that big of a deal, but if you've got a lot of cut grass floating on the surface like we had at the Potomac River, any little cut in the front will actually grab grass, which then creates a cast that's pretty much wasted. Uh, so it can be very difficult to take a solid bodied plastic and slide it up over some of these weighted heads. In reality, a tube, which is hollow, fits right up it perfectly. And all you do is rig it right down the center. And then at this point, I'm gonna thread it until the hook comes out the body. And then at that point, you just push it up over, just like that. And it, it like seals up I don't know if you can see that it like seals up over the wire and at this point this thing is locked on there like you will not go through more than one tube per day fishing a buzz bait and the cool thing here is you get your natural minnow style presentation you do get some movement out of the tails it's locked on there it is extremely streamlined it, and if you want to go bigger, you can go much bigger with a, a bigger style tube that's wider bodied to really help bring, you can see the difference, it'll help bring the bait up to the surface. But I feel like it is one of the most natural presentations and because of how well it fits on the bait, you're that much more efficient and effective on the water. Uh, the other thing I'll say is I feel like my hookups are really good with the tube. And I think a lot of it is because you don't have mass. You know, the fish bites it and it squeezes down, opening up the hook gap versus if you're throwing a big chunk of plastic like a toad, like the horny toad, where a lot of that actually can get in the way. But in this case, with it being a tube, it basically collapses on itself, which helps with that, with that uh, hookup percentage. And again, you can get different style, different style tubes. So it's not, I'm not necessarily saying it's got to be a tube uh, like this because of, of the style and the look of it. But you can go like put craw tubes on it. It really comes down to the fact that you've got the hollow body, which makes these so easy to rig. They last all day long and you can catch piles and piles of fish on it. Uh, if So you can get different types of tubes that add action or have a different profile to it to help the bait ride higher, to help the bait ride lower, uh, and to create more vibration. And from that standpoint, this has been like the, it's been a, I don't like using the term game changer, but for me, a tube has really changed my buzz bait fishing. I didn't think I'd ever throw anything other than a tube. And after experimenting with all these for the first half of this year, not only did I find one bait, like the tube that I really like better than a toad, I found a bunch of other baits that I like to fish on a naked buzz bait as well. So give it a try guys. If you like fishing buzz baits, you gotta try putting a tube on a buzz bait and fish it in your naked profile like this. It's amazing how good it is, how effective it is, and how productive it's been for me. So give it a try guys. I thought I'd pass this along to you. I'm always tinkering with different baits to use on different techniques. And I'm just kind of surprised that this one has never popped up to me before. So give it a try. Let me know in the comment section. Have you tried this? Have you put tubes on buzz baits? And do you find it to be as effective as I have? If you have or have not, put it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I'm sure other viewers would as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.